Hello there, Capricorns. Welcome to your mid-March 2017 tarot reading. So, um, in the very recent past, a few of you have had some deals, negotiations, and things like that that have been um, solidified, that have been finalized. Contracts being signed is what I'm seeing, and negotiations when it comes to finances, when it comes to money. Uh, things are getting finalized for you, and uh, I'm getting the message of um, backdoor deals. So it 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 doesn't necessarily have like a, a negative connotation, but I feel like you know some some hidden information regarding contracts. So it it could be that um, you negotiated negotiated something with another person or entity. Um, in a way where it wasn't for public discussion or it wasn't televised or broadcast to the public. And it was, you know, something on a smaller scale between parties and the public was not involved or other people was not involved. So it's just, you know, a very low key type of a negotiation for contracts or even for work assignments or even for um, um court issues as well like settlements so I feel like things are negotiated um, in a way where it's away from the prying eyes or from the public limelight okay so for those of you who are dealing with that I do feel it is favorable and I do feel that it is working to your benefit so that you can get some clarity as well as closure so you can you know move on so for, for I am seeing a lot of contracts related to work and related to money, such as settlements, uh, such as, you know, uh, divorce proceedings or even uh, ending of a work situation, such as workers' compensation, uh, wrongful termination and things like that. And even negotiating new contracts with suppliers, vendors, uh, you're procuring uh, resources so that the company can you know move on so things are, are done in a very low-key manner in a um, in a very discreet manner that's the right word discreet so it's not that it's you know under the table or underhanded or even um, sneaky I just feel like you know it's it involves like a very very few members of the party so you and another person or possibly three people but things are uh, looking good um, so contract negotiations, they're all coming through and they're all being finalized. And I do feel that they're going to end in your favor. Um, they are saying that for, you know, the next two weeks, especially, um, try to not stretch yourself too thin. So this means, you know, taking on too many responsibilities in and out of the household. And it basically means don't make promises that you can't keep because I feel like, um, you're feeling very optimistic, which is good, and I feel that you might stretch yourself a little bit too thin. So make sure you do things in a very methodical manner. So if you have like five things on your plate, make sure you take the time to do each of one, each of them one at a time. So you know have a checklist for yourself. And after you do something thoroughly, then check it off, move on to the next project. So don't work on project A while you're thinking about, you know, stressing about or even thinking about or ruminating about projects B, C, and D, for example. So just be careful about that, that tendency to be um, too enthusiastic and wanting to get everything done. And so your energy is just a little bit scattered when it comes to, you know, projects that you need to get done, responsibilities in the household as well that you need to get done. So just um, be mindful about that. Um, I do see a disintegration of old partnerships and a merger of new partnerships for many of you, okay? So I feel like the transition might happen this month of March, and I feel that you're moving on to a better place. So I feel like it's uh, it's meant to be for you, and it's especially meant for you to kind of move on away from it. Because I feel like in the past, um, you might have, you know, try to do things by the book. So that means uh, graduating from high school, graduating from, you know, for your university, trying to get a job, and then feeling a little bit stagnant, feeling a little bit stuck. And you feel that the skills that you're bringing to the table are not applicable to this modern work environment where people are multifaceted, where people come in with like a myriad of skills that they have accumulated through their lifetime. So it seems to, to me as if you have a lot of like... Um, um, 
experience that you have learned on, you know, in school, but there wasn't a, a way for you to apply the knowledge that you learned. So I hope that makes sense. So it's like, um, you know, um, more like abstract knowledge versus um, practical knowledge. So this is the month where you are, especially for some of you who are younger, I feel that you're applying everything that you have learned thus far and you're applying it in a practical way, which is going to calm a lot of your anxieties because now you're going to feel like, okay, I'm in the right place. Everything I've done for the past, you know, six, seven years are not for, for not. It, it's, it's going to be all of the things I've learned, all the skills I've accumulated are going to be applicable where I am right now. So I feel like a lot of you are just, you know, breathing this um, sigh of relief that you didn't waste your time. Everything that you have learned, accumulated, is being carried over. So I feel some really positive things in here. So going back to the partnership aspect, I do sense an element here about, you know, uh, reassessing, reanalyzing, and possibly um, breaking up existing relationship contracts. So that can be partnership. That can also be, um, you know, in work or in romance. So I feel for those of you who are with a, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, this is a reassessment period. And I do sense, you know, there is going to be important communication coming through where between you and this fire sign. And um, I feel like in the past, if there has been blockages in communication, if there has been, you know, um, two people not being able to see eye to eye and compromise, you are going to be very, very victorious in allowing them to see that you are a good partner and that they want to compromise with you because it's in your best interest. So I feel like a lot of you are coming in very decisive the next two weeks where you're just like, this is what I want. If you can't deliver, then, you know, we really... Uh, don't need to talk anymore. So I, I feel that coming through where you're really decisive, drawing your line in the sand, putting your foot down. And then for others of you who are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, and this doesn't have to be a relationship partner. It is somebody who uh, might have told you a little bit of a white lie or a full-blown lie. I feel some communication with, between you and this person, and this person is kind of like... Um, they're trying to sway, maneuver, distort the truth a little bit to get you to come on board with them. And I feel like you're seeing it for what it is. Okay. So you're kind of like figuring out that, oh, this is what they've been after all along. You're figuring out their motives. If you're dealing with a, a an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And so once these information comes to light, I do sense you're going to have to do some major reassessment as to what you need to do. So for those of you in, um, you know, contract negotiations, things will be fine. You're on the right track. And I also feel that, you know, the next three years, uh, I'm sorry, three months, the next three months, Mar um, April, May, and June, I see you working very diligently, learning something, learning procedures, learning systems, learning um, possibly softwares. So you're going to be working very, very diligently. It's more like head to the you know grindstone, trying to lay low, um, very focused on your work, okay? So I do wish you the best here, uh, Capricorns. Take care of yourself, okay? I do see this change of fortune, okay? So if things have been pretty rocky for the past five years, I feel like things are going to turn around for the better for many of you. Okay. Take care of yourself. I'll be back in, um, for your April reading. Bye-bye.